fun. This is a big you deal. Like one pair of headphones around here. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's all right. You can still hear me, and that's fine. I don't want to wreck my hair. I just did it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I mean, what are you only doing the bottom of your hair uh, on the podcast broadcast? Uh, live joining us is on the bench uh, with Jacob and Ollie. Am I saying that correctly, Ollie? Oli, Oli, uh, spelled different. Yeah, so you spell it O L L Y. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Jacob and Oli are uh, YouTube influencers, uh, and I guess that's the title, the technical title, right? Uh, that you guys are out here. Uh, would you call yourself influencers, content creators, or just best friends of uh, playing against each other all the time? Uh, well, basically, we're just natural athletes, the best at everything and super humble. So yeah, yeah, I could, I could sense the, the humble. Yeah. We don't really fit into those other categories cause we're not like nerds like that. We just rip, uh, just like sports insane at sports. Yeah. You guys are insane at sports too. I'm, I'm talking to Jacob and Oli. They're on the bench on the bench is going to be co-hosting this Saturday's Tucson Roadrunners game with me. Uh, they're on their, They made their way from Canada uh, then you might have recognized them on social media because they have about 167,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, they're all over Facebook, Instagram, you name it. Uh, and so we're talking about their channel and how they essentially kind of made their mark on YouTube. They, uh, two best friends who are very humble, fantastic, best athletes in the world that play, you know, a level hockey in their kitchen against each other yeah. all the time uh, with some pretty, uh, these are pretty exciting games that you guys put together. Uh, first, where, what part of Canada are you guys from? Uh, Calgary, Alberta, wild, wild west. Okay, yeah. So what was that flight? Like, how long did it take you to fly down to Tucson? And is this your first time? Uh, yeah, first time here. It was a three and a half hour flight. Quick trip because we got the boys at Flair Airlines just ripping us down here. Yeah, oh, yeah. And Flair Airlines is the new airline that flies directly uh, to Tucson from Canada, right? Yeah. Nice. Is it, is it Tucson or Tucson? It's Tucson because it's spelt Tuxin. Yeah, the T, the C is silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why'd you put it in there then? Oh, I didn't put it in anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's I gotta ask my grandmother why she put it in there. But <laughs> she made the city. She did. She made the city. Wow. Yeah, Nana Vegan. Yeah, it was fantastic. Now, how long have you guys been putting up your video adventures of you guys competing against each other? Because it's a two man league, but yeah. it's very competitive. Yeah, we're looking to expand in the future. Uh, but we started the the mini stick pro league uh, at the start of COVID, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. We started it then because obviously we couldn't leave the house, so we're like, hey, let's let's just have a battle in the kitchen and best out of seven series. And turns out it's one of the best hockey to watch ever on earth. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know what? You're you're not lying too, because I mean, honestly, you just popped up on my radar the other day, and I'm I'm thankful that you guys were able to make it in in such short notice. So I went down the rabbit hole. It didn't take long, and initially I started seeing your games, and it's like 25 minute videos of you two uh, playing. Uh, how do you describe this hockey game? Mini stick hockey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We call it we call it mini twigs. Some people call it knee hockey, and some people call it shinny, but. Um, so this is actually the mini stick pro league. Um, so we created it. Um, and it's just an absolute grind. Yeah. People don't understand how intense it is. They're not on the same ice surface and obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's technically same, not nice. Yeah, same, 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 but different. So. I know the meditator you're going for. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and yeah. So when I first initially saw, it, I was like, I, I, I watched some of the shorter clips and I'm like, let me watch one of these games. And you think initially you're just like, wait, it's just two guys playing in their kitchen. We ended up how many games you watched Two? I watched like three full games beginning to end edge of my seat some of the trick shots and it was amazingly entertaining super greasy shots yeah wow. oh, stuff there the behind Nasty. the back where you're able to pull that off some fake out moves all within like a confined area now have you ever got to a point where you threw the gloves down because i know you guys are friends oh, yeah. yeah yeah we scrapping a lot uh usually it happens you know game six seven when tensions are high we like to throw down and hopefully break each other's noses just to get the advantage yeah. for the next series but yeah, there's been a few scraps. Nice. Is that why you wear the helmet? Uh, That's actually a prescription. No, oh. no, it's not. Jacob tells everyone, but it's not. Oh, it's not? No. <laughs> oh. Stop telling people. 
All right, we're going to keep this conversation moving uh, for the podcast broadcast. We have more with Jacob and Oli on the bench is going to be hanging out with us this weekend at the TCC for the Tucson Roadrunners, a teddy bear toss night. We're going to talk more about that. Plus give away a pair of tickets. And since these boys compete against each other all the time, we're going to play a game and see who can win between Oli and Jacob. All that more coming up next on Be Vegan Presents. Keep it right here. All right, and bro. clear. Yes, a really nice, like voice. What a pro. For, like, yeah, you like uh, yeah. you like the voice. It's very captivating. Thank you, thank you. You know, I'm kind of I'm working on it. it does all I'm working right. on it. Your voice like is pretty good too. Let yeah. me ask you this now. All right, we watched some games. Controversy, yes. right? Yes. Uh controversy in game five. Well, what? there was some controversy in game five, obviously, and then you see how it goes. But really, as I've been, you know, new to the league, like yourself. Mm-hmm. What team are you on? Not to be sounded all throwback like it's Twilight, but Ooh, I'm Team no, Jacob. No, let's go. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's go. No, Oli, Oli, I like your uh, you know, mid-game interviews. Uh, and I'm hope you feel better from uh, the concussion that you sustained in game five. But um, you know, I do appreciate the spirit that you bring to the game. You might not have the technical skills that Jacob has, uh, but you have the fight. And uh, you know, I feel like I will put money what do you on mean? you. Technical skills, real, recognized, real. That's what no, he, he means. doesn't. He, Jacob doesn't, doesn't even play right. He just hangs out in his zone and does the mishies all the time. Jacob, I'm, that's a garbage move, and he's gonna hear from my lawyers, and now you're gonna hear from my lawyers. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not trying lawyers. to get sued. I, I, I did see Jacob pull the same move on you three times in a row, score three yeah. goals in just the second period alone, and a it was Hattie. Yeah, Swaggy. it was the exact same move, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why nasty. <laughs> Plus, he's got style, and dare I say it, he's got flair. That's for you. Ooh, oh, it's like <laughs> plug in the airline. That's uh, Powers trying to get a side job here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, once you, I mean, after the second goal, you'd have to kind of see it coming, though, right? Oli, well, I mean, normally, but again, I, t- I took that hit in the head in the warmies, and I just didn't know. It's okay. all about it's all about deception too. Like you guys just see the mishies. Yeah. Uh, but what actually happens out there is I got some head and hair fakes. Mm-hmm. So I can wisp my hair one way to mishy the other way. Oh and no. It's just you don't see it, but again, it's the, yeah, you really the, have to slow the video down to see the hair fakes. The technical it's like yeah. a rope dope. Oh uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, and then right there in such a small confined place, too. I mean, I would look at it, and if I know if Powers and I tried to face off on the same surface, it would probably end up being a tie in double overtime, you know, even a shootout. Like, I don't know how um you guys are even able to sneak it past uh because it seems like very difficult to score. But what's the highest scoring game that you guys recorded between the two? That was when uh, Moose was loose. Yeah, yeah I think I, I got moose in maybe game two or three. The moose is loose, 12 to deuce. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. There it was. There's the catchphrase, too. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot of hockey slang, Canadian hockey slang as well, that we want to kind of get a breakdown uh of to try to help out because uh, you know, Tucson is still somewhat of a new hockey town, right? The uh, Tucson Roadrunners you got been- the Woodpeckers. Oh, no, no. We got the Roadrunners. Oh, Roadrunners. Road yeah, yes. they yeah, 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 yeah. They're cousins. Right, right. But it's been about six seasons. So the goal for the organization and, and the NHL is to eventually have somebody from Tucson play in the NHL, which has never happened. Heck, yeah. Right? But it takes time. You plant seeds. You watch them grow. Uh, but, you know, part of the fun of the lifestyle is the lingo, right? And the slang. You're talking mushies. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different words. So real quick, can you give me just off the top of your head, some key slang to use if you're going to be a hockey fan? Well, first off, you could just burn hoof down the wall, cut hashies up the top of the cirque, rip the bluey, quick toey, uh, go into the middle of the cleave, rip on top corns. Okay. Yeah. Got that? Nothing. I, nothing registered there. So obviously your basis is you want to use beauty a lot. Okay. Like, like as much as you can. Like, oh, this guy over here is a beauty in his head over here. Mm-hmm. Greasy too. And greasy. Um, you know, fundies is just the fundamentals. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, Clapper. T- top corns, low corns, mid corns. Uh, five shank. Dust. Those are those are different shots. So mm-hmm. if you don't like someone, you call them a dust. You like hate your dust or a plug or a pigeon or a oh. pigeon. Shit. Yeah. That means yeah. Uh... There, yeah. There's a lot, but we also do have a book out. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah. We have a book that. Um, in the front has all the words you possibly yeah. need to and uh, really done. Yeah. It's Since also a Globe and Mail bestseller. So eight weeks. Eight, eight nice. Weeks, yeah. You really? Cause I'm looking at, I'll yeah, look it, it up. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The fundies. Not to, not to it's called the fundies. Yeah. Not to come at you. I okay. read books. Okay. I'll check this. Okay. Out. Whatever. They got a okay. rap video too for you, bud. Let's Heck go. Yeah. We got, saw that. We, we also do two... rap music. So, okay. We're going to watch the rap video as well. We're then. natural athletes. 
uh, music producers, just seriously, we're weapons. How long have you known each other? Too long. Yeah, I would say too long. <laughs> I think when Jacob turned uh, just shy of 18. 18, yeah. Just shy of 18. So what's that? Like 30 something years? 30 ish. What is the name of your music video? Uh, oh, it's just a diss track to all Lo the NHL players. Low Cheese Missy. Low Cheese. We also have a new song that we're featured in uh, on the YouTube with uh, stereos called Bad Times. Okay. So. All right. Well, you know what? I want to see a little bit of this. Let's check this out. The diss um, track? Yeah, let's check out the diss track, man. I need to hear it and see it, and we're going to be able to show it on the podcast broadcast as well. Uh, you guys won't be able to see it, but you were in it, so you don't necessarily need to see it, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You can reenact it or go along if you want to reenact it while I play it. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, maybe not. Here, here I think we I still go. know the words. Well, I know the words. You know all the words? You still got it memorized? Absolutely. All right, I want to check this out here. <laughs> All right, boys, it's time to grip it and rip it. Couple Tandy Terminators right here, boys. That's right, boys. Low cheese missies. Now you got a couple Mike monsters, right, Jacob? That's right, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Jacob, tell like them what we're team. doing. Y'all know we're the best, ripping bissies from the West. It's Jacob Benoli in hockey, you know we're holy. When it comes to ripping rope, they call us the Pope. And if you think you can win, boy, you got no hope. We got the fundies unlocked, so you better not talk. Cause if you chirp too much, you'll be out on in shock. It's yep. starting up now, like an opening face-off. You better look out, the league is getting a face-wash. Starting the six, they scoop Johnny T. But you can't get a ring without no D. So you better take some notes from the young gun. Spoilers. All those first rounds turned out to be spoilers. spoilers. Round of applause for the Caps winning Stanley. I think it's kind of weird with the age 40 cappy. They shut down the pens, starting the drought. We hope not, though. The golden boy might pout. Bro, cheese, missy, top corn, snizzy. We ain't stopping even if there's a whizzy. Quick rappy, <laughs> extra greasy, snappy. Oli and Jacob, we're claiming the cappy. That, 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 oh, I that, love it. That's I love right. it. Boy. This so that ain't, that ain't gold is platinum. Yeah, we just Let's took go. shots at the entire league. So. Yeah, yeah, you did. Did you get anyone from the league respond to your diss track? Did um, they, they come at you? We did hear Brian us. Kessler came at us. Yeah. Kessler came at you. Yeah, yeah, he came at us and he wasn't happy because his kids kept singing it in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> so, there, there's a line in there saying that he couldn't take a what was it, yeah. two foot pass? Kessler off the glass. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, you couldn't take a uh, two foot pass. So. That's like, funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, did you take any of those this towards the NHL uh, talking about defense and the lack of defense personally only because you showcase a lack of defense in some of your videos? Well, I don't believe in defense. Okay. Let's just get that clear. Um, okay. Okay. It shows like defense in hockey is the most useless position. Um, all they do is skate down, get mm. the puck, shoot it to us forwards, us forwards, toe drag, dangy the entire team, score. Okay. Well, really, D is nothing. Like we can go back and get it ourselves, but it's easy if they're there to just throw it up to us. So it's the most useless position in hockey. And that's how you lose. That's how you don't. Get <laughs> no, that's how you don't get shipped. I'm all I'm all skill and thrill. I don't care about defense. So you're you're literally that first round and out. No, you're like I might make plops, but then I'm getting ripped. Yeah, at least we're good doing it. Well, I look even better because my goalie just passes it to the. To the D, D up to the forward, forward drop pass to the D, D. Forwards quick, never drop past the D. Quick Mishy, my team yeah, does. Okay. I built it around defense. Oh, you did. And that's why I went. You chips. don't even have a team. Yeah, I do. How many championships have you guys uh, played in the league? Uh, we've done. Uh, we've done two. Two uh, outdoor yeah. classic. Yeah. Oh, an outdoor yeah, classic. That's not. That wasn't part of the league though. So just two. So who won the two championships? I won the first one. Nice. Jacob won the second. Okay. And he won the uh, outdoor classic. Okay. Now and there's the fan cave. That place is sick. Have you seen yeah. it? No, not yet. You gotta yeah, check it good. out. Okay. okay. And, and well, we'll just say the outdoor classic doesn't necessarily count because we're going in for the tiebreaker for the indoor championship, and you guys are all you know split up one apiece. So really, this next championship is for the bragging rights uh, to be the champion. I, mean, I would say even just a moment ago, you saw coaching. It's coming down to the coaching. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, Jacob does have a really good coach. I'll yeah. give him that. Like, yeah. Coach, he knows how to coach. Yeah. He's a good coach. What makes him such a good coach, though? He just gets the game. And like I said, he built the team around defense. Um, So it's the classic, like, if you play defense, you create offense. Oh, so yeah. He's just a smart guy. He knows what he's doing out there. And he got in the right tendy for the mini stick series. And 
the D man, like we can't be upset about and the forwards are they're de- they're all doing their parts out there. So right. the coaching is just phenomenal. The line matching's perfect and uh we ain't getting caught on uh late changes. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Now you guys been down in Tucson for a couple of days. I, I've seen you uh, were out and about downtown uh, and enjoying some golf. Uh, I assume that you're going to be shooting some videos along the way. Uh, now being from uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, obviously very cold country. Now you're in the desert uh, in the wintertime, which is a little chilly, but nothing like that. Uh, what has been the most shocking kind of uh, piece of landscape or, you know, fish out of water moment for you? That's those friggin' cat guys, they're everywhere. <laughs> Those cat guys are everywhere. Have you seen them with the big hands? And uh huh. Yeah, the swirls. They're crazy. They're everywhere. You know, those arms grow once every hundred years. Yeah. Yeah. I hit Google Something and like it said those things could be 300 years old. Mm hmm. Yeah. If they got three arms, they're uh, 300 years old. For real? Is that how it works? Yeah. That's how it works. So it's a, if they have five arms, 500 years old. Holy smokes. I know. And I did that is math that, on the fly. Is that for real? Are you facting us? Or is that... I'm facting you. I drop facts every I've now and then. I've seen someone with like seven arms. 700 years old. Smokes. That was. Give me another example. A math guy. I know. Yeah. Ten arms. That's a thousand years old. Oh my God. You thought I was going to say ten hundred, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did not. I'm here with Jacob and Oli on the bench, youtubecom slash on the bench, where you can watch their championship games. They play against each other. Plus, they post hilarious videos. Uh, there was even a music, a couple of music videos on there, and you can see them this Saturday at the TCC for the Tucson Roadrunners uh, Teddy Bear Toss Game, and I hope. That part of the plan, and I don't know this for a fact yet, but you know, during intermission, do a little on ice games and competitions. I hope that we can figure out a way for you guys to compete against each other on the ice. That would be fantastic. You could do a full ice mini stick game. You could do a full ice mini stick game. Well, I don't know if we have that much time because the bony's got to come out and, you know, polish up the ice. And I feel if you're on your knees sliding around the ice, it's going to take, you know, 20 minutes goal to goal. Wait, that might have been some t- so bony means Zamboni. Do you guys have a Zamboni? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it? yeah, we yeah. have a bunch of bonies. I haven't yeah, seen yeah. a bony on your on your. Is it okay if oh. I said bony? Is that appropriate slang? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can either go bony or zam. Yeah, yeah, zam. it's zam. I like to go with the tail end. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, since uh, Oli and Jacob always compete against each other constantly, they are born rivals. And uh, on their channel, it, it's a lot of them just going at each other. Well, I want to play a game. Okay. And I'll even hook up a pair of tickets for the Tucson Roadrunners for a hindsight prediction. So whoever wins a best of three of the last word, uh, all you have to do is call 600 KFMA and say, I knew Jacob was going to win or I knew Oli was going to win. And then you'll get a pair of tickets for this Saturday's game. It's Teddy Bear Toss Night. Oli and Jacob are going to be there as well. Here's how the last word works, boys. All right, uh, you got 30 second rounds. I'm going to give you a category. We'll start with one person to give an answer, then, uh, you know, like Jacob, and then Oli, you answer back in the same category. You're both going to go back and forth, giving acceptable answers without repeating each other. Whoever gets the last acceptable answer in wins the round, best of three, wins the game. Are you ready? Go on. Okay, here we go. First one, since you guys are hockey experts here, Jacob, 30 seconds on the clock will begin with you. Name an NHL team. Uh, Winnipeg Jets. The Jets, okay. Arizona Coyotes. Coyotes. Coyote right. Flames. Yep. Chicago Blackhawks. Edmonton Oilers. Toronto Maple Leafs. Vancouver Canucks. Boston Bruins. Uh, Seattle Kraken. Uh, New York Islanders. New York Rangers. Can't do this anymore. I said Rangers. Right. Dallas Stars. New Jersey Devils. Yep. The crappy Montreal Canadiens. Philadelphia Flyers. Vancouver Canucks. I already said it. No, Boom. you did say it. Yeah, I did. No, we did. Powers. Go upstairs. Oh, yes. Give me another one. Oh! oh time looks like jacob won that first round you just uh, paused me i didn't put well you know the clock's still running Oli. all right don't throw the gloves down on me all right so here's the good news uh, Oli. you're still in the game but you got to win this round to stay in the game if jacob wins this he gets the last word all right so jacob <clears throat> if you win this you win the game are you Let's ready go. okay here we go now we talked about the nhl all right uh, and now the, when it comes to Canadian hockey players, they all speak their certain slang. We were just talking about the slang on the list that you'll be able to see in a podcast broadcast. They broke it down for us. So uh, give me a slang word a hockey player would use. We'll start with Oli. Go. Beauty. Beauty. Pigeon. Sauce. Uh, greasy. Clapper. Bluey. Cheese. Snapper. Top bunk. Uh, five shank. Bits. Uh, dirty. Flow. Filthy. Bucky. Uh, wheels. Lip sweater. Uh, caterpillar. Teeth. <laughs> Teeth? No. <laughs> yeah. Lettuce. I said lettuce. I said flow. Oh, wheels. 
Uh, oh, all right. Ollie, yeah. Ollie, yeah. <laughs> I already said it. wheels. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, I said oh, you know what? We're going to have uh, do a hindsight review to see if uh, you got boned on that round, but we're going to give it to Oli anyways. Okay, so here's the deal. Our Canadian friends are visiting Tucson for the very first time, courtesy of Flair Airlines, uh, who are now doing direct flights from Tucson to Canada. Now, with that said, uh, you are neighbors to the north. Let's see how much you know about the good old USA. Oh, I need Mike. you to name a city in the United States. We'll start with Jacob. Go. Uh, a city? Yes. Wyzetta. Wyzetta? You're going to have to Google that one, Powers. Uh, Tuxin. Yes, Tuxin. Porcrin. Porcrin? Maple Grove. Okay. There's no Porcrin. Uh, St. Paul. Yes. Uh, Minnesota. No, that's, that's a, state. a state. Yeah. Oh, you see a city? city. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, Dallas. There you go. Scottsdale. Yes. Uh, Chicago. Yeah. Great Falls. Montana. Oh, Great Falls was the last acceptable answer. That means Ooh, Jacob won the last collecting one. Collecting W's. Uh, it's not even cool. cool. It's an American ball. Cool. <laughs> no, uh, technically, I went tree for tree, too, I bud. I, you know I failed science class. Yeah, I know. And I'm a professional geologist, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jacob and Oli are always going at each other. You could check out their YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe while you're there. It's on the bench, youtube.com slash on the bench. Caller number 10 uh, to call in and say, I knew Jacob was going to school Oli. We'll win, a get a, we'll win a pair of tickets for the Tucson Roadrunners game this Saturday. It's Teddy Bear Toss Night. The boys are going to be out there joining me. We're going to have a grand old time, and we hope to see you there. I know you guys have got a lot of stuff to do, so thank you so much for coming Coming into the studio, we look forward to keeping up on your adventures on your YouTube page and hanging out this Saturday night. Thank you for having us. Thanks boys. for having us. Appreciate it. Uh, go Roadrunners, go. Yeah. Go Woodpeckers, go. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to hit the reset. Be back with more Beef Vegan Presents after these words. Rock 1, 2.1.